having fun here. It's Devin Rajkumar, Chef Devin in the house. It's been too long, my friend. You always bring the goods. This time, braised beef short ribs. They just look amazing. They're shiny and delicious, <laughs> and I don't know what you did to that beef, but it's, it looks good. It's one of my favorite recipes. It's a little bit outrageous, this dish. Uh, we have over here just yes. short ribs. You can get your butcher to break them down. I can hear it bubbling. So braising, we're gonna be braising the short ribs, and braising is a beautiful technique where you caramelize the meat first, and you brown it, okay. then you put it back into that same pot so you have all those delicious brown bits at the bottom, yeah. and then you'll deglaze with red wine, uh, with stock, and anything like that, and then you put it at a low temperature in the oven, and it'll break down those connective tissues, those muscle fibers, right? So we're talking major flavor when you braise, and does it take a, lot, a long time? Yes, braising is low and slow, as they like to say, so yeah. it'll take anywhere between two. You can braise overnight, 12, 13 hours if Ooh, you want. This recipe, good. and it, you, the pan's nice and hot, yeah. this recipe takes uh, not too, too long, probably about three hours, you'll be good. Okay. So, the meat's brown, it comes out. Oops, next you I'm gonna add You can impress your date with this recipe, for sure. 100%, Right. that's a winner. So we add in some vegetables, okay. they're in there now. Gonna add into that, just, you wanna roast these off a little bit or just kind of stir them off, but you know, just for the segment's sake, I'm just gonna run through it a bit. Yeah, go for it. Red wine vinegar, soy sauce, we have balsamic vinegar in there as well. Mm -hmm. You'll notice I'm adding all dark things, cause when you add dark colors like soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, yeah. you end up getting a nice dark product, that glaze at the end, right? It so looks that's a so really, good. really important thing. So we add in all these vegetables, back into the pot goes the meat. Yep just like this, and then you just top the meat off with beef stock. If you can't make beef stock at home, or you can't make chicken stock, you can buy the organic ones, they're all over the place now. Okay, and yeah, I know I, you're big on organic. You know, I make And local, from scratch. and yeah, yeah, that's great. Exactly, sustainable, all those kinds of things are yeah. really, really popular, and really, really necessary. So, meat's in there, just get it covered if you can, just barely. Uh -huh. This goes, gets wrapped with foil, into the oven, it, it'll braise for three hours, it comes out, you yeah. strain it, Reduce that liquid until you get a sauce like this. And do you guarantee me that it will look like that? You might want to invite will me. Will it over. look like? Yeah, maybe I'll just no, call no, no, you. No. The recipe's I on City love Line. That. If you follow it to a T, it should definitely come it's out like this. It's gonna look like that. This sauce, because of the red wine vinegar, because of the balsamic, the soy sauce, it's salty, it's mm. sweet, it's sour, it's dark. The Worcestershire gives it that depth of meat. This sauce, like I want to bathe in it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's really, really good. So that's the braised beef. This is beautifully paired. It's kind of like a food dude's concept where I got it from. Okay. But it's paired with a cauliflower and a leek. Cauliflower oh, and leek that's puree. Nice. When you have your leeks, the yeah. top parts are not really edible, but you mm -hmm. can like I can add them into the braising liquid if I want to, right? Okay. So when you cut your leek at the bottom, the stem, cut off the root part here. Mm -hmm. This is something that a lot of people don't know. Inside, there sometimes this one's not too bad because they grow in the ground. It's into dirty. the dirt. There's a lot of dirt you in there. So you just it. want to rinse it off. This one's okay. So with this guy, again, this is gonna be braised. So you can chop it up any which way that you want. Mm -hmm. This would go into your pen. Okay. Just a little bit of oil, so that pan's nice and hot. So you add in the leeks into here, then you follow it up with cauliflower, okay? Once this gets translucent. Um, it's also really important that you don't add too much of the green parts of the leek because you want it to be nice and white and get that nice vibrant color. Or you're gonna have, it looks kinda like green mashed potatoes. If you right? add too much of the if green. If you had too much of the green. Uh, Not that there's anything wrong with that, but no, you but know, we eat with our eyes. I like, you know I'm big on colors and I that know, kind of stuff. I'm I adding know. white and pepper that looks perfect. because you want to keep it looking creamy and white. You're, you're a star, I yeah. love it. I listen. Beautiful. I listen. So, so once this uh, breaks down a little bit and sweats, we just add in some cream. If you're like, hey, I don't like to cook with butter and cream because I don't like flavor, that's cool. You can, <laughs> you can just, you can He's just. He's not judging at all. No, 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 you can just use, uh, you can use milk, you can use a little bit of milk, a little bit of cream, how, whichever you way you want to do it. You can use water, whatever, if you're boring, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just, you know, I won't be coming over anytime soon. But, besides the point. So that's in there, you can add salt. We'll finish this with a little bit of lemon zest, and it's a beautiful, beautiful dish. Okay. Uh, this is served with asparagus, and the asparagus, remember I talk about blanching and shocking? Yes. Boiling water, 10 seconds. Ice bath, five, 10 seconds, just so you get that chlorophyll, that green really that sparking, green. that vibrant, because you can see it really pops. I'm really happy with that. Yeah. And that also, uh, it's, it's just grilled really quickly, 30 seconds. That's and that, what that, I thought. That's the textural component of this, that's the crunch. Okay. So this is a winner over the, the, the holidays. Like if you have people over, it's warm, it's comforting. It's I just like a date winner. Date night, man. Date night, 100%. They yeah. will be back. They will be back 100%. again and again. So cityline.ca for this uh, incredible recipe. It looks amazing. Game. Thank you.